Hey it's Bay and today I'm going to be doing an updated video of what's in my new Nintendo 3DS XL case. You guys really wanted an updated video so here it is. Not much has changed to be honest but I will tell you about my current 3DS setup so far. I'm trying to reach 5000 subscribers for the year of 2018 so please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Oh yeah, I'll have everything that I mentioned in the description if you're interested in checking them out. First, I'm going to be talking about the case. This is the updated Brendo hard case for the new Nintendo 3DS XL and 2DS XL. I have done a video review of this case and I think that it's one of the best if not the best case out there. I'll put a link in the description if you want to watch my video review or you can click the card that appeared on the screen. Anyways, it's a really protective case and it comes in many different colors. One of my favorite features that it has is the hand strap on the top. I can carry this case really easily and securely with the hand strap. The wrist strap however does not come with the case and I just added it. On the wrist strap, I have a little Pikachu and a little keychain that has my name flashing on it. It's solar powered and I just think it's really cool. When you unzip the case, you're greeted by the game card holders. You can hold up to 24 cartridges in this case which is pretty amazing in my opinion. Here are the games that I currently have inside the game card holders. Pokemon X, Pokemon Y, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Pokemon Rumble Blast, Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, 2 Pokemon Blacks, Super Mario 3D Land, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, Nintendogs Plus Cats, Pilot Wings Resort, Kid Icarus Uprising, Animal Crossing New Leaf, and Mario Kart 7. I also have 3 Nintendo DS games, Over the Hedge, New Super Mario Brothers, and Asphalt Urban GT. I have a couple of flash cards or flash cards or whatever you want to call it. I have the Supercard DS2, an R4i Gold 3DS Plus, and a Sky 3DS Plus. To go along with the flash cards, I have a micro SD to SD card adapter. Also on the game card holders, I have two styluses. The first one is the one that actually came with the Brendo case which is pretty cool. It's a pretty standard stylus but the grip is a little bit wider which makes it a little bit more comfortable. There's also a clip that you can clip onto your shirt if you're into that. Up on the top, there is a little hole to put a charm or wrist strap on. The second one is a Totodile stylus that I got with a Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver case kit. It's my favorite stylus right now, but to be honest, I use the stylus that's built in my new 3DS XL more. Now let's talk about the accessory pouch. I really like the accessory pouch in this case because of the zipper. It keeps everything secure and in place. I keep my AR cards in here and as you can see, it's pretty beat up. It's the original AR cards that I got with my original 3DS back in 2012. Next we have a USB to Nintendo 3DS charger. It's a pretty cheap one that I got for about $2 and free shipping on eBay but I'll put a link to a better one in the description. Next we have a, a little thingy for a, yeah, if you know, you know, wink wink. Last but not least, we have a little 4 game card holder. Lots of people have been asking me where I got this and I got it back in 2012 with my original 3DS. I purchased a little kit that came with some screen protectors, a case, and things like that, and this little 4 game card holder came with it. I'm not sure where you can find them now, but I like to use this little cartridge case when I don't feel like carrying my Brendo case along with me. Inside, I have new Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Maker 3DS, Super Smash Bros. 3DS, and the last slot could have any other game that I feel like playing. I usually keep the Sky 3DS Plus in the fourth slot. Now, let's move on to the console itself. This is the new Nintendo 3DS XL in black, but you might not be able to tell because I have a skin on it. This is the Skonomi Tech Skin in brushed steel. It's been almost two years since I had the skin on and it has held up very well. It has protected my new 3DS XL from scratches and this skin is so worth it in the long run. It feels really nice in my opinion and it does not attract fingerprints which is great. Inside my new Nintendo 3DS XL, I of course have Pokemon Ultra Moon. I haven't done any hardware modding to my new 3DS XL but it does have a custom firmware on it which I think is really cool. That's pretty much what's inside my new Nintendo 3DS XL case. As you saw, not much has changed but I think that the slight changes were worth making an updated video and you guys really wanted me to make an updated one. If you have any other suggestions on what video I should make next, tell me in the comments. That was my updated video of what's inside my new Nintendo 3DS XL case. 
If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you get a notification every time I upload. Leave me a comment telling me what your favorite Nintendo 3DS XL or 2DS XL accessory is. Also, I'll have links to all the products I mentioned in this video so make sure to check them out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!